A sure sign of spring is about to happen in Washington, D.C. The best time to see the famous cherry blossoms is apparently early next month. The National Park Service predicts peak bloom between April 2nd and April 5th. The cherry blossoms are one of D.C.'s biggest tourist attractions. Japan gifted the original Yoshino trees to the U.S. in 1912. And we're definitely going to be seeing more spring flowers and some leaves try to pop out across central Illinois with temperatures warming back up as we get through the next few days. For today, we had a little bit of a setback, but we still saw plenty of sunshine. High pressure kept this cloud bank down to the south, a lot cloudier down across the Ohio River Valley. You'll notice a disturbance up to our northwest. Most of that precipitation not even reaching the ground across parts of Iowa, and it's expected to stay up to the northwest, though we could see a little bit of cloud cover come in off that system as we go into the overnight hours. But again, in the meantime, plenty of clear skies out there this evening. So if if you have any plans tonight, I'm going to be okay. You'll probably want to have a jacket though because it is a little bit chillier out there. Temperatures today only topped out in the upper 40s for most spots and right now we're at 43 in Danville. They're our cool spot. 48 in Terre Haute, 45 for Robinson, 46 in Paris and it's currently 48 in Decatur. And temperatures are going to be warming up after today. So we're going to notice that warming trend start again. Today temperatures are actually pretty close to average though. Average for this time of year is 49 degrees, up to 51 tomorrow, then up into the upper 50s by the time we get into Sunday. And the warming trend doesn't stop there. Once we get into early next week, we'll see those temperatures climbing back into the 60s. And once we get there, we're expecting temperatures in the 60s for most of next week. Though that is going to come with a little bit of rainfall, which we'll talk about here in a minute. But for tonight, don't expect any rain showers. We'll keep the clear skies in place. As I mentioned, we could see some cloud cover come in from the northwest as we go into the overnight hours. So we may start our Saturday with a little bit of cloud cover, but as we go into the afternoon, we'll start to see that cloud cover break down, giving us a little bit more in the way of sunshine as we go into the afternoon hours. So we're going to see a little bit more in the way of cloud cover, but we'll still see sunshine to finish out the weekend. Our hometown highlight tonight is Christian County, where temperatures will climb a few degrees from where they were today. We're expecting a high of 51 in Taylorville, Kincaid and Morrisonville, 50 in Pena and up in Mount Auburn. Again, mostly sunny skies over the course of the day with more of that cloud cover coming in in the morning hours. So now I'll skip ahead to the latter half of the weekend. Here's Futurecast for Sunday morning. We're expecting abundant sunshine for Sunday. I don't think we'll see much of anything on Futurecast. Plenty of sunshine over the course of Sunday, maybe a few passing clouds across our northern area, but for the most part, we'll be noticing the sunshine and those temperatures climbing up a few more degrees. Now with all this dry weather, we actually still have abnormally dry to moderate drought conditions across the northern half of our viewing area, despite the snow melt and also the rain that we saw last weekend. So the rain that is coming up in the forecast will be beneficial, especially for our northern areas that are still considered dry or in those drought conditions. For tonight, we're expecting an overnight low of 28 degrees, so it will dip down below freezing. Under mostly clear skies, north wind at 3 to 6 miles an hour. Then for tomorrow, we'll see highs climbing up into the lower 50s, mostly sunny skies. Northwest winds still at 5 to 10 miles an hour, so it's going to take a shift in the wind direction. That'll come in here as we get towards the latter half of the weekend. Going into next week, that'll be what brings in those warmer temperatures as we go into next week. Monday and Tuesday looking great next week, maybe a little bit on the breezy side. But then the, net, the next chance for rain comes in here as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. That'll be along a cold front. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a few thunderstorms, especially on the day on Thursday. So that'll be something we keep an eye on. And then temperatures will drop back off into the 50s for Friday. And as we wrap up Severe Weather Preparedness Week, tonight we're going to do a couple true-false questions. And Oscar is a good sport because he has agreed to answer these questions and he has not seen them. So our first one is about tornadoes. Are bridges and overpasses safe during tornadoes? True that, or false? That has to be false. That is false. Actually, if you seek shelter under bridges and overpasses, that can increase the speed of the wind, making it more dangerous. It can also bottle up traffic. So you're good on that one. All Next right. one, lightning is hotter than the surface of the sun. I'm going to go with false. That one is actually true. If you watched Wednesday, I had that one. Lightning can reach up to 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And lastly, hailstorms can make the sky appear green. I'll say, I'll say true. That's a guess. That one is true. Scientists don't necessarily agree on why it happens, but they think all the ice up in the clouds can make it appear a greenish tint. So you did pretty good, Oscar. Thank you. Two for three. I'm going to take that one any day of the week. 